everyone in this video we'll talk about that how you can create a note for a single link list let's start So in my last video we have discussed that for a particular node what we have we have two part one is data and other one is address so at first what we have to do we have to allocate the memory for a particular node so in this case let's say that this is the node so within a node what we have we have two parts the first part we have data and other part we have next address the next address will store the address of another node now at first what we'll do we'll allocate the memory so how we can allocate the memory for that we have to use some dynamic memory allocation procedure we need malloc or we need calloc so at first what we have to do we have to allocate the memory so let's say that we have a list like this and it has two part one is data and other one is address so we'll allocate a node like this let's say fffx then what we'll do we'll store this address in the next address portion of the previous node or the last node of the list so this is how we can add or attach a block into a single link list so this is how you have to at first you have to create a block then you have to add that to the previous node i think this portion is clear now so we need a pointer which is head pointer which is store the first address or using that we can traverse the entire list which is store the entire list so what do you mean by entire list so it so one pointer can hold only one memory right so it cannot hold all the memories of that list so what do we have to do this is a linked list you can say this is a linked list the first memory let's say fff0 so we have to store this fff0 in somewhere let's say that we have a head pointer this is head so which will only store the address so we'll store this address over here fff0 then using this we can go here we can go here we can traverse the entire list so it will store the entire list so it has the first address and using that we can access the entire list now let me remove all these things we can traverse the list using the head node so as i told earlier that we can traverse the entire list using the head node and last node address will be null so for the traversing we have to encounter it somewhere right for array we have the size of the array right for list the terminating condition will be null so whenever we'll hit the null we'll terminate the loop so now we'll talk about the architecture in linked list so we have a head pointer then we'll allocate a node we have an address that is 30 thousand and our head node will point to the first node so our head node will store this 30000 and at first it will be null then we can put some data over there then we will create another node now it will also have some address right that is 30004 so we can store this 30004 over here but if we store 30004 over here like 30004 over here then what will happen so it will start pointing to this node so we can access that node right so for that we have to store this address over here so we'll add this address uh, this address over here and it will keep pointing the next node so this is the architecture of a linked list now let's understand the flow again quickly so at first we'll have a head pointer so i am why i'm talking this thing again and again so you have to clear your concept so head pointer next data next address it will keep pointing to this node then we'll create another node so let's say that that is 9004 or anything it will point to this node so this is the basic understanding and we can say that how many nodes we can add we can add n numbers of nodes like n in this case n is infinite in my previous video i have told that linked list is a infinitely finite data structure so you can add as much note as you want so how to declare a structure now we'll talk about the coding now we'll talk about that how you can create a note what are the technical parameters that you have to follow for create a linked list using c in this series we'll do the linked list using c now 
at first what we have to do we have to create a structure so i think your structure portion is clear if you have any doubt on structure go to my previous video then your concept will be clear so we have written type def over here so that's why we have put the nickname of the structure so what is the nickname the nickname of the structure is node so we have two part one is data and another one is address now how you can allocate the memory for this structure so at first what do we have to do for creating any linked list or for accessing or storing any linked list what do you need at first you need the head pointer that's like our brain so at first we have to do a head pointer so this just a pointer we are not allocating memory don't get confused so we have created a pointer it's just a pointer now what we have to do we have to allocate the memory we have to allocate the memory for what we have to allocate the memory for this node now this node is a abstract like this structure this this is the abstract thing right like your class concept so that's a bit different thing what we have to do we have to create a node which is a physical memory we have to create a call a function in this series i have mostly focused on that how you can write a clean code and how you can write your code in more efficient way for that we have created a function over here now we have to call this function now we'll see that how we can allocate a memory so you can see that this portion will call this function this is the function is written over there so this is the function okay so this is the function now at first we have created a pointer now we are allocating the memory for this pointer we are allocating the memory for this pointer so how we can allocate we can allocate the memory using malloc you can see that malloc size of node we are allocating the memory for our node so what is node node is the structure now i think this portion is clear that how you can allocate a memory after allocating the memory it's returning the memory within temp and we are returning temp over here so this allocated memory will come here now this temp is a physical node or you can say that it's an object or you can say that it's a memory this head it's not a node right it will store only the address of a node so which will be a head pointer but this temp will be a memory so we have allocated the memory for this temp now what we can do let's say that we have created a node like this blank node like let's say fff0 so what we can do we can add a data so how we can add a data into a structure for that we have to use the arrow sign so this is the arrow sign right so we can say that temp data now we have this node we have allocated the node we can say that we'll put 100 over here now for the first node what will be the next address so whenever we are allocating a node what will be the next address the next address will be null right so temp next will be null so it will be null so let's say that null we'll denote the null like this so it's null now we have allocated a memory we have added a data and the next of this temp or the next portion like this it's null now what we have to do we have to store this fff0 somewhere so where we'll store the address of the first node we'll store the address of the first node into the head pointer so what we'll do we'll just write if head is not equals to equals to null so at first we don't have anything within the head so it's null now what we'll do we'll just write head equals to temp this node has its own address so we will store this address into the head if you have any doubt just write in the comment section so i hope this portion is clear that what you have to do at first you have to create a structure then you have to write the main function within that you have to declare the head then you have to allocate the memory you have to add the data that i have added that is 100 the next address will be null then what we'll do if the head pointer is null so for the first node we'll store its address into the head node you can see that this head now what will be the final structure uh it will be the head node it has f f f zero then it will point to this node i hope this portion is clear now we'll go for the code as you can see that at first we have written the header file then what do we have done we have written the structure we have declared the structure then we have created the function that is create node then we have declared the head this portion for allocating the memory then we have added the data the next is null then 
we have written here if head equals to equals to null so currently we don't have any data in the head then at last what we have done we have written data like ampersand for printing the integer temp data so let me compile this code yeah so you can see that we are getting 100 so i hope this portion is clear that how you can create your first note for a single linked list if you have any doubt just write in the comment section see you in the next video